many threats like this have you received? None this elaborate, but it comes with the territory, Marshal. Don't act like this is your first high-profile case, not with me. I take death threats very seriously. Oh. If I ran around in circles every time someone up and threatened me? I'd like to move you to a protected location for the duration of the trial, if you don't mind. Let's get some rules straight right from the jump, Marshal. My court is my court. And while you may advise, you shall do nothing. I repeat, nothing without my authorization. My home is deeply private and shall remain that way. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. I'll stay where I am. You make my home safe. Okay. Stanley Quill had no reasonable expectation of privacy. He's a convicted felon arranging drug deals and the commission of vicious murders from inside his cell. If Quill hadn't broken the security code on the monitoring schedule, they would have been intercepted in prison. No motion detectors, no remote camera, no sound sensors. Nothing. Visual surveillance from outside the house. That's it. Will the government be able to proceed without this evidence if I rule to suppress? Absolutely not. Well, people, my problem is that I've promised the chief judge that we will either have this case dismissed or have a jury impaneled by the end of this week, and I intend to keep my promise. Why don't you let me take some of that no, stuff? No, thank you. I write my own opinions, make my own decisions, carry my own bags. Okay. Thomas Lester, you with me? Yeah, Brian. Yeah, let me know the minute they hit the gates. We'll send them in. 10 4. <sighs> Something's weird, some non factory wiring. Maybe nothing but the bomb squad's on its way. I also drive my own car. Let's just wait here while they check it out. We just checked it out this morning. And we checked it out this afternoon, and we'll check it out now. It's good enough for me. No, Judge. Don't try to stop me. That's an order. Judge! Look, I can't order a continuance. Uh, continuance is out of the question. We've already been in pretrial hearings for over two months. And even if I could get a change of venue, which I can only do if one of the parties makes a motion to do so, what am I going to do? Suggest the motion? Ask them to do me a favor? <laughs> uh -uh. I'd leave myself wide open for a claim of reversible error. Don't you see? Everyone is watching this one. Everyone. Feeling like this, acting like this, a poor, helpless female. You know, there are men in this world and one or two women who would pay ridiculous amounts of money to see me in tears. I don't see any tears. Lester? Yeah. Do you see any tears? Not from here. Sorry to take you guys away from your families. I missed out on that part, being happily married. Do you think the black robe scares off men? Some men. I need a shower. Oh, I think it's safe to bathe. Lester? Yes, ma'am, all clear. We'll be right out here. I want this day to end. We understand. You're welcome. No problem, Your Honor. Guess you want to know about exploding Jaguars. Not as much as I want to know about her. She just thinks that she set off that bomb with her little black box. But the bomb was not wired to her key alarm. 
It was wired to a trigger remote, which somebody set off when she was far away, when she could not possibly get hurt, but close enough that she could still get plenty scared. Yeah, well, the question is, will she get scared enough? Mm. Enough to influence her decision on the admissibility of Stanley's wiretap evidence. White zeros are more than capable of a level one threat to a federal judge. They produce more crystal meth than the State Department produces paperwork. And it's all guided by one man on the inside, Mr. Stanley Quill. I got the message. I don't seem to have much choice in this matter. You know, in Italy, when an OC big shot gets indicted, it's not uncommon to kill his judge. Kind of makes the next judge question his principles, if you know what I'm saying. Well, we're not in Italy. We're here. She's got to make a decision by the end of the week on this wiretap. I say we go after these guys, and we make it safe for her to concentrate on the case. Hey, how's Stanley's main man? <laughs> Phil, even back when I was him, you weren't. Cops are all over the place. It's bad for business. Well, you almost killed a federal judge. What'd you expect? Justice. Simple justice. For that, there's an easy way and a hard way. Stanley just wants a fair trial. The easy way. I don't think that's too much for a white man to ask. You? I feel almost human. God, after today, I thought I'd never be hungry again. I hear they do a passable lobster downstairs. Do you think we could get them to send a few up? No, thank you. I'm uh, allergic to shellfish, actually. Well, whatever you want. Please, it's my treat. Rain check. <clears throat> I'll uh, be next door. Is this the first case you've had involving white zeros? No. You can't exactly avoid them. Not where I sit. Have they tried to intimidate you before? You're sure it's them now? Relax, Marshal. I don't expect you to have all the answers. They might have tried. Someone else might have tried. The fact is, I make it a point never to notice intimidation of any kind. Unless it goes boom in my face. Hey, I'm a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. I'm a U.S. Marshal. Hey, this is a public hallway, man. I'm allowed. Public hallway? Private doorknob. Stay put, and this won't hurt so much. Philip Negro. Briefcase, Counselor. Uh, you, you need a warrant to open that. He's right. You know this guy? He's my friend. I asked Mr. Necron to bring some documents over from the house. Phil's my lawyer. I trust him implicitly.
steak. State Bar identification seems uh, to be up to date. Miss Nightcrawl, but I'd do something about the picture. He's having a bad hair day. Stanley? I'm ready to see my lawyer, Felix. Please, right. Approach. <laughs> ah, this is too good. I blew up your car. No casualties, much fear. So how'd you know she got the message? I know she did. <laughs> you think she'll cooperate? She made the call, man. I sent Taylor over to meet her lawyer. He's on the way to see the judge right now with the homogram. She's in the bag, Stan. You gave her a hundred grand? Yeah. Why? Because you said so. So she ruined in your favor. I got a problem, Cal. I can't believe Taylor would let you do this. Why? Well, I, I didn't ask Taylor. I told him. So you blew up her car, and you gave her the money. Look, you're in here, and I'm out there, and sometimes you just gotta... Sometimes... You got... Scare her or you pay her, you don't do both, man. What you been smoking? Look, don't laugh at me, man. You're always I am laughing. Not laughing. You're laughing. I am not. I am. I am. I, I'm laughing with you. <laughs> but you see, that's why I gotta run things from in here. Because next time, you're. Blow up the money. <laughs> You're trembling.
she made a deal with Stanley's gang, get him off her back. Sometimes corruption takes baby steps. You sell your soul in tiny little pieces. You gotta work your way up to throw in a case like the Stanley Quill trial. I'll make some calls. See if Mikrong's got any connections to the White Zeros. And I'll talk to some White Zeros who don't have any connections. You don't know anyone wants to kill Judge Wilder, do you? No. Huh? Read your file. They didn't cut you much slack, did they? Well, it got me a judge wasn't a big fan of armed robbery. Huh? How about Taylor Washburn, you know him? No, we met at the robbery. <laughs> yeah, same crime, no time. He must have rolled over on you, huh? <laughs> Impossible. He was tried by Judge Wilder. Well, maybe Taylor's trying to kill her because she was too nice to him. Who was it, Wilder? I had a slimy public defender. Taylor had King Kong. You get what you pay for, right? I get out in 17 months. You think they'd take me in the marshal service? I, I would change. I'd cut my hair. I'd, I'd do anything. I just want to be a marshal. No way. I'm not talking to you. Hey, we're concluded. I can get you moved to another facility. How do you think I got in this chair, man? Stanley Quill wouldn't back me. I tried to make my own deal. If Stanley beats this rep, it's good for you, right? Just curious. Judge Wilder's put a lot of non-zeros on federal layaway, hey, too, man. Talk to Quinton Wycliffe. He's mentioned her name. The lawyer was a crook. The trial was crooked, the judge was crooked, the whole thing was crooked. Why do you say the judge was crooked? Marshal, I know she was crooked. I paid her. You paid her? Through my lawyer. The ten grand in cash and still got convicted. Of a murder charge, right? Murder, mail fraud, what difference does it make? You only got seven years. <laughs> you only be in here for seven years. What's your attorney's name? Phil Necron. It's a weird name, you, uh, want me to spell it? That was years ago, well before Lee was a client of mine, or a friend even. Perfectly within the bounds of propriety. Yeah, but you represented other zeros, Taylor Washburn, for example, and he was acquitted. You are a student of ancient history, Marshal. How is this helping us? Well, see, I think Taylor had something to do with the bomb in Judge Wilder's car, and I need to talk to him. I thought maybe you could help me out. Absolutely, yes, I'll do what I can. It's for yeah. Lee. Thank you. Warden, do you tell your inmates anything about whether or not their telephone conversations are monitored? Yes, we do. We tell them that all conversations are monitored. It's no secret. They can hear these little beeps every 15 seconds. Your Honor, the defense will stipulate that all prison telephone conversations are monitored and that the prisoners know this. I need Taylor Washburn. Unavailable? You're kidding. No, no, I need to meet with him. This whole thing is falling apart. I need Washburn to keep it together. I think your positions are clear. I've read your briefs. I've listened and listened to your arguments. If the matter is submitted, I will give my ruling within two days. She's dirty. Now, are there other evidentiary issues pending? Oh, man. It's hard. It is your last chance, people. Where's your proof? All right. If no, I don't exactly have any, but I'll bet you how much he rules to exclude those tapes. <laughs> Let's go. I need to talk to Washburn. Where is he? now every time I open a letter. They've all been x-rayed and screened. 
It's an emotional thing, not logical. I remember my first trial in much the same way. I was a pro tem judge in small claims court. There was a little girl suing a truck driver for running over a dachshund. She was representing herself. It was an accident. I had to rule against her. She sat in the back of my courtroom and cried all afternoon. Would you rule against that little girl today? What are you saying? I've changed? I don't know. The law is logical. It doesn't change. Was it logical to accept the bribe from Quentin Wycliffe and cut him the minimum sentence? Quentin Wycliffe is a convicted felon who might say anything to cooperate with someone offering to help his appeal. Mm. We'll be dealing with some new people now, Phil. Stanley says. No, oh, Cal. You're a puppy. You don't know what the hell you're doing. I got a U.S. Marshal asking me questions. Take care of him. Take care of him. I'm a lawyer. Okay, I'll take care of him. No, you do that. And this whole thing comes crashing down on us. On Stanley, on you, on the dirty judge. You don't think I'm smart enough to do this? No. 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 What's your cut? What is you your 10%. I'm just a bag man, okay? Oh, you just like her? You like her? She give you a good judge? You're, you're gonna miss her when she's gone, Phil? You're gonna cry real tears? Who is gonna right? suppress the evidence, which is, is the pro prosecution's entire case? Stanley goes back to business as usual. He does his term, he walks. What more do you want? I want a new judge. You do that in your cousin's dad? You're smart. Pink crown. That's why I want you as my exclusive new lawyer. How dare you accuse me of judicial improprieties? How dare you come into my office, into my life, and make unfounded insinuations about my integrity? Tell me it's not true. Of course it's not true. Remember, I'm federal, too. It's against the law to make false statements to a federal officer. <laughs> McBride, you're the meter maid here. One of the little men who goes out and brings in the bad boys or taxes them from this cage to that one. The sad soldier in the brown suit who stands in the back of my courtroom, marking time, waiting for his generous government pension. You still haven't answered my question. And I'm not going to. That would merely be dignifying your monumental stupidity. I thought you were different, McBride. I thought you were smart. I'll tell you what. Let's say, hypothetically, I forget about this whole thing, and I just go away, and then you resign on your own. How's that sound? Oh, you're going away, all right. I want you off my protection detail as of right now. I don't think that's your call. You give me a telephone in five minutes, I'll make it my call. Meanwhile, you go down to the FBI and report your little hallucination about my judicial misconduct. If you really believe that insanity, you're required by law to report it. Agent Lazarski is the one you want to see. Judge Wilder. Wait a second. You get away from me. I'm supposed to be protecting you. Look, I don't think you're a bad judge. I just think you lost your religion. Oh, God, I forgot my purse. I'll get it. Thank you. I'll hold the door. Thank you. Good luck with the FBI. Hey!
Judge Wilder accepted bribes, multiple bribes. She took money on the quill case. What? Stanley sent her a cashier's check in prison? Get a copy of that check. Catch her in the act. That's the only way. Well, he wouldn't deal direct. You know that. Who's his contact on the outside? It used to be Taylor Washburn. Used to be. Look, Winston, we're investigating this. We get a report like yours, we have to. But if this could get to a hearing, FBI agents on the stand testify as wild as dirty. Well, she just is, Your Honor. See, McBride's got this gut feeling. Special delivery for Mr. Quill. Joseph Campbell. I myself have never heard of this guy, but I checked it for contraband. Just curious. You're walking in pain. You're right up at the edge of the law coming to see me. I mean, even if I ask for it. I'm here on other business. Taylor was my best friend. I got a guy who says you put out the hit on him. Oh, come on, Marshall. But I don't believe him because I don't think you're that stupid. I don't believe you because I think you're making it up. But who is that stupid Stanley? What? No, I mean, hypothetically, okay? If a guy's got a judge in a bag, he's not gonna kill her, right? Hypothetically. He's just gonna scare her, right? Or pay her. One or the other if he's smart. If he's smart. Both of them. If he's stupid. See, that's what I don't understand. A guy's got a judge in a corner. Why does he want to kill her? You know what I think? I think somebody's trying to get you. Take away your golden goose, kill Judge Wilder, and they kill you. What do you think? Hi. Hi. Got a minute? Well, actually, I don't. My wife's waiting for me. My kid's got a hockey game. Philip. I really think we should talk. What's wrong? Is, is Lee all right? Yeah, she's fine. Well, what is it? Well, I, I've got a bit of an ethical bind. And to tell you the truth, I'm, well, I'm confused. What about? It's about you and Lee. And Stanley Quill. Bill, is everything OK? One minute, honey. But I think we can fix it. You asked Phil Necrom to offer you a bribe. No, of course I didn't ask him to offer me a bribe. All I did was told him that I had a dilemma. Now, I'm counting on the fact that he's corruptible. Therefore, he'll assume that everyone else is corruptible. And by offering me a bribe, he'll have a solution to his problem. Bribe you to do what? See, Stanley Quill says I'm walking a tightrope here. You talked to Stanley. Well, maybe you should know about that right now. I can't believe well, what was I supposed to do? He asked to see me. He was very upset about Taylor Washburn. Maybe I shouldn't have sent him those photographs. Swear to me that you told the FBI about Judge Wilder. Well, of course I did. And did you tell Phil Necron about the FBI? Well, now I forgot about that part. What if Necron decides to tell the feds that you're rattling his cage? That's what a clean guy would do. Or a very smart, dirty guy. Well, see, that's the tightrope part. <sighs> Who's left for you to wind up? Nobody. I'm starving. I'm gonna get something to eat.
killed him. I killed him. I killed him. The man I have to fear is my own cousin. What? Are you you're afraid of me? Stand up. No. 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 I'm afraid that if you take over, the zeros are a thing of the past. Come on, Cal. Show me what you can do. I taught you, Cal. Let's see what you got. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That'd be stupid. That'd be suicide. Yeah. Unfortunately, suicide may be the only option you got. This is not just for looking the other way. What do you mean? They're threatening me now. I'm afraid they're going to come after my family next. I need to see her. Wait, you want me to set it up so you can talk to her? That's right. Oh, come on. What's wrong? Well, now you're insulting me. I'm trusting you. You could be wired. I could be wired? I should be wired. You could be wired. Are you wired? I hate this. But you're doing it anyway. Don't lecture me. I'm not lecturing you. There's 25,000 in there, is that enough? No. You give me the other half when I deliver. The other half? Yeah, you want to see her. Talk is not cheap. You think I'm a weasel? No, I don't. Thank you. Go ahead and open it. Now, he wants to talk to you. Do you want to talk to him? How much is it? Doesn't matter. I want to know. I want to know what the going rate is for a federal judge. Well, that's a little complicated considering the personal intimate relationship you have with Philip. I wonder what he's getting. He gets a chance to live a little longer. You did this. No, I just let things happen. Things happen. Your job is to protect me. Yes, it is, ma'am. And it's getting easier. You did this because you couldn't get to me any other way. 
I did this because it's the only way I can protect you. He's right. clean, recuse myself, resign. Why don't we take it one step at a time? The first thing I have to do is have you killed. Marshall? Glad to finally get a chance to meet. She doesn't look like me at all. Did you care in your honor and you'd be surprised. I should be doing this. Which would you wear? I haven't been much help. I'd like to help now. How about this? You wear this under your robes? Yes. I know you're late. I bill out of 300 an hour. We're all set? Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh... 8 o'clock. Here's the address. Look, I'm out of this, okay? I'm not gonna even look at tomorrow's paper. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do you think you're going, Counselor? Look, I, I, need my, I need my lawyer by my side. Don't worry, ma'am. We'll pay your rate. Time to go, counselor. I once impersonated Margaret Thatcher. Only had to work from 100 miles away. I wish we had time to make the mask out of Wilder's face, you know? Am I gonna have to shoot anybody, Winston? No. If I have to pack, I'm gonna have to rethink the outfit. This fits a little snug for Mr. Smith and Wesson. Thank you. Are you a 10 or an 8? Depends. This is never gonna work. You look more like me. Damn. The chief judge talk about bad timing. You just made that phone call about her, didn't you? I really should be doing you this. You can't do this. Why not? Because I need somebody who knows what they're doing. You're not going to believe this. I just got called in. All right, everybody knows what's going on, right? right. We're not looking to catch anybody. We're just looking for positive IDs. Stay in the shadows, keep them towards crank. Plenty of pictures. This thing goes south, you got no way out. I got you, Lester. What if they don't show up? What if you're wrong about Phil? Well, Your Honor, then you'll be able to turn me into one of those brown suit monkey men down at the federal courthouse. remember the moment when all this started. Somehow I would feel better if I could just identify that moment. I think Phil's gonna be here. Uh, he has no reason to be here. What about me? I could be a reason. You could be. The escorts is Cal Quill. He's got something in his hand. It's not a gun.
tell him to turn his headlights off. Turn off your headlights, please. Three. Stay put, don't move. Don't worry, I, I'm not armed or anything. I just want to talk, honey. I screwed up big time, but I, I think we can fix it. I, I want to try to fix it. I wanted to see you one time before I go away. I'm, I'm taking it all on myself. You're out of it. You're safe. Stop. Please don't come any closer. Judge. Judge. No, don't. Playing me all along? I don't expect you to forgive me. Okay. So why are you here? To watch? I'm just shivering. Take my coat. Let's get something that's cold. Winston? Hey, Brian, what do we do? You said they kill my family, honey. I need some instruction here. I'm right. What's he doing? I'm right. <laughs> With apologies to the government and the defense. The court is unable to rule on the motion to suppress currently before it. I'm sorry to break my promise. However, I do have a brief statement which I would like to make at this time. Stanley's cousin got popped last night. Word is Stanley had him killed. The court is... No, I have... I have reached a decision. Or did you spin him? Probably the most difficult decision I've ever had to make. Or the easiest, I don't know. For reasons that will quickly become public, I cannot rule on the motion before me. And I cannot continue with this trial. As of this moment, I am resigning from the federal bench and surrendering myself into the custody of the U.S. Marshals. Watch your step, Stanley. Please, shut up. 